Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and today we are getting some new tires for this trailer. Um, this trailer is an 18 foot dovetail uh, car hauler type trailer. It, uh, it works really well. It does the trick for, you know, getting something from point A to point B. Um, it is a 2006 model uh, with original tires and we've got some got some cracks along the tires and inside the tread. There's plenty of tread left because the trailer honestly didn't really get used a lot for moving stuff uh, consistently back and forth. There's not a lot of mileage on it. Um, it would simply get something from point A to point B and then it would sit for a long time. So I plan on using it a little bit more and uh, I'm not very comfortable using it if it doesn't have good tires on it. So I'm gonna get some new tires on it and uh, probably get a spare as well and um, that's what we're up to so we're just changing some tires today so now I got the tire off I want you guys to take a look here and look at the cracks that are in this okay I don't trust that going anywhere and I bet you guys wouldn't either although there's some of you out there that probably have cracks in your tires that uh, are just running them until they're bald and they blow up but uh, um, I go on a few roads which I kind of refer to as the middle of nowhere and if I were to get a flat tire, and there's absolutely no shoulder on this one stretch of road that's about an hour long, um, I would be kind of uh, in a little bit of trouble because there's really nowhere to pull over and there's sometimes nothing in sight depending on where you end up. And of course, if you were to get a flat tire, that would be exactly the situation I would probably find myself being in. So, I um, wanted to mention another thing as long as I got my Knipex pliers out here. Uh, one of my videos I did a, a full service on that 3940 I have and uh, a few of you commented don't use a slip joint pliers that's not the right tool well these aren't your typical slip joint pliers I want you to take a look at the mechanism these are Knipex pliers they are fantastic they have replaced basically uh, my socket my socket sets and uh, wrenches I, it's my go to tool you know I don't always use it but when I can, when I can use this thing, uh, it's my go-to, my go-to tool. So um, this is a $50 tool. It's worth it. You can pick them up at Menards. You can get them on Amazon. No matter where I've been, uh, they're 50 bucks regardless of where you find them. So, so now you know. Alright, I am back. While I was waiting for my tires to get mounted, I uh, went to Harbor Freight, found me these awesome safety glasses slash sunglasses slash money savings amazingness. Two bucks. Two bucks for me to look this cool. What do you think? got some new tires I kind of like these things um, they are just a titch smaller they are 225s the other ones were 235s but it's what they had in stock and I didn't have to wait uh, max load per tire is 2800 pounds so I'll be I'll be in good shape no cracks in these ones are all brand spanking new tires of course they're never cheap they're about uh, 500 bucks for those four tires, but uh, peace of mind, you know, you gotta, you gotta spend some money once in a while on tires, dang it anyways. You know, same thing goes with batteries. If you saw a, a previous video of mine, what I spent on a battery, $170 for a tractor battery. Oh, and then the Explorer too, that needed a new battery this year, 150 bucks for that. So, <laughs> between batteries and tires, I've uh, got a lot invested in keeping my equipment up to date and ready to go. So we're going to put these on the trailer, but before I do that, I'm probably going to pound out a dent that I have on this fender over here. 
you know, once in a while when you're trying to load your trailer, things don't go as planned. So we'll pound that out before we put the tires on and then we'll be in good shape. Friendly Bear, are you going to swimming lessons? Will you have fun? I think it's going to rain. See that big dark storm cloud? No. Mama, you bringing Brendan Bear to swimming lessons? Sure am. Have fun. Don't fall in. I try not to. That's always the plan. Okay. Um, the big ones on the deck with Maddie playing babies. The big kids playing babies, huh? All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, that about wraps it up here. I uh wanted to put the trailer in the garage because of course every time you finish painting looks like it's gonna rain right I don't know if that's gonna hit us or not but um, it was easy enough so I'm just gonna let this sit in there and dry a little better so one project always leads to another the morning started off by I was going to actually load up the tractor and uh, head up north uh, for a few days and then I got looking at the tires and I'm thinking nope not going to do it today. Uh, tires just aren't good enough. I need new ones. Should have taken care of that a couple weeks ago. Um, but, you know, hindsight's 2020, I guess. I finally got around to it. Um, you know how it is. You really just don't want to spend the money and get it done. Well, I had to spend the money and get it done. 500 bucks, right? Four brand new tires on the trailer. Peace of mind. It's all good. Uh, so, as I was saying, one project leads to another. Um, Took the tires off, decided, hey, I might as well paint the fenders and grease the bearings and do all of that stuff too. So that's what I ended up doing. Uh, trailer's all set to go now. Just gonna let that paint dry a little bit. And then, let's see, possibly tomorrow I might head up and do a little work or who knows, who knows what's going on. So anyways, the whole point of this video, check your trailer tires. Make sure they're in good shape for you to be hauling down the highway and hauling a load of something. Um, you know, better be safe than sorry, right? Because, uh, you know, if they're cracked, if they're low on pressure, whatever, you know that you're going to have a flat tire right in the middle of nowhere in the worst possible spot because that's just the way it goes. So, um, you know, just a short little video of me changing tires. Not real interesting, huh? Could you give me a thumbs up anyway? And I'll promise I'll, I'll make the next video better. All right, you guys, uh, take care, keep on tractoring, and God bless. Friendly Bear is back from swimming lessons. How were swimming lessons? Good. Did you learn anything? No. Uh, no? <laughs> you didn't learn anything? Did I you, didn't. Do you know how to swim now? What are you looking at? Rainbow. A rainbow? Isn't that cool? Let's see, there's a rainbow. It started to rain and now we have a rainbow, don't we, Friendly Bear? 